Hello and welcome back to my Milan save on Football Manager 2023. Since the last episode where we played Freiburg in the quarterfinals of the Europa League, we've played around five games off camera in the league. So we'll run through each of them right now before we head into our semi-final game against Ajax. So we started off with the Milan derby away from home obviously technically away from home they both play at the San Siro against Inter and we won 3-1 we did go behind uh, Nicolo Barella getting the opening goal after just a minute Lukaku missed a penalty which could have taken them 2-0 up thankfully Ibrahimovic then equalized for us Lukaku missed another penalty not having a good game and then Vignato and Kalulu went on to get our second and third goals to seal the win we were still without an injured Olivia Giroud four days later when we faced Udinese away from home. Ibrahimovic filling in for him up front, but he didn't have a, a great game. We, we had an XG of 2, which is 1.4 better than Udinese, but we didn't manage to score a goal. They did, and they beat us by a goal to nil. I think this is what ended our unbeaten run. I think we'd been on a pretty long unbeaten run up until this point. Yeah, we'd been on a 16-game unbeaten run up until the Udinese game since the Atlanta defeat all the way back in January. So a bit disappointing to lose there. But we followed it up with a 3 away from home win. Giroud was back and he was back on the score sheet after just four minutes opening scoring for us. Tonali and Origi with the other goals and a nice solid 3-0 win against Lecce. We then got a second 3-0 win on the bounce as we smashed Sampdoria 3-0 again. Diaz, Ibrahimovic and Di Ketelea on the score sheet for that one. And then it was the battle of the top two as us sitting in the top of the table in Atlanta in second faced off against each other. We went 1-0 up thanks to Rafa Leao on the 52nd minute and it looked like we were going to extend our lead at the top of Serie A back to four points after a drop to just one point after our loss to Udinese. That is until... Matteo Gabbia was unfortunate enough to get on the end of, I can't remember who had the shot for Atalanta, but he, he deflected the ball into the back of the net basically on the 95th minute. So we succumbed to a 1-1 draw, which means we are still top of the table, but we're only one point clear. Four games left for us to play. We need to make sure that we don't drop any points in the next four league games. But of course, in this episode, we are focused on the Europa League and the semi-final against Ajax. So we'll keep an eye on the other semi-final as well, which is, of course, Roma against Arsenal. It could be an all-Italian final in the Europa League, but we'll we'll see what happens. We need to do our job to make sure that we do our end of the bargain. So this is the lineup we're putting out for our first leg of the semi-final against Ajax. We've got Mainan in goal, as always. Zanoli is at right-back. Kalulu and Tomori in central defence. Gabia is suspended for this game. Tio Hernandez is at left-back. He's got a fitness test icon next to him, but he should be all right for the full game. We do have Fode Balatori on the bench, but he's also got a fitness test icon next to him, so we, we might switch them at the like 60-70 minute mark. In defensive midfield, we've got Tonali and Benesa as always. Satlamak is at right wing. De Ketelea at attacking centre midfield. Leao at attacking left midfield. And Olivier, Olivier Giroud up top. We do have a few players who are they're almost at a full bar of green health, but it's a little bit off. Tonali, Salamakas and, and Leao specifically that I can see there. But this should be a good enough side to, to give us a chance of a win at home against Ajax. Free kick just inside the Ajax half. First chance of the game. It's Tonali moving forward to the ball. Finds Teo on the left-hand side. He comes into the box now. Can he get a ball in? It's Teo across the face of goal and Bassi manages to clear that. Well, sort of. Timber moving forward on the right-hand side. Closed down quickly by Teo. Now Grilich has got it again, looking for Timber, running down the right-hand side. He's got past the, the makeshift left-back there. He was covering for Teo, ball into the box. Acampos is there, he's off the bar. And that is going to go out for a corner, not a corner, a goal kick. It's Bassi, Shirley Bassi running down the left-hand side, finds Lucas Acampos inside to Tadic. We really need to try and win the ball back here, otherwise it could be another Ajax opportunity for a goal. Nice ball forward to Acampos, and he's skipped past our defender there. Zanoli it is at right-back, trying to get back. In position and De Ketelea, excellent covering, but that's a terrible clearance straight to Grilich. Grilich with a shot, and Florian Grilich has opened the scoring for Ajax. Seventh goal of the season, and it has to be said, it has been coming. Ajax have looked quite dangerous so far this game. 39 minutes gone, we're 1 0 down. We need to do something to change that. So we made it to half time. We're losing 1 0. Uh, I said Ajax had the better of the game, but actually, they've only had three shots to our seven. Our XG is slightly better than theirs. We just I haven't seen any highlights for us, which is why I thought Ajax were having the better of the game. But um yeah, we need to we need to try and get a goal, really, don't we? Kalulu's not having a great time out there at centre back. Obviously, he's he's not played as much this season as as Gabia has. We've got Simon Kier on the bench that can play at centre back. Um it's a bit of an aged, well not really aged, I guess. Tomori's only 26 or something, isn't he? 25. 
I was going to say it's a bit of an age centre-back pairing of Kia and Tamori, but it wouldn't be really. Um, we'll see how Kalulu does uh, about 15 minutes into the second half. Might take him off. If Giroud's in danger of being booked, but obviously he's scored so many goals this season that I kind of just want him to stay on because I feel like he, if he gets a chance, he'll probably take it. Salamak is as well uh, not doing too great at attacking right midfield. We've got Messiah, so you can come on for him. I uh, think I'm going to keep it the same, see if my team talk does anything, and then we'll make any changes about 10, 15 minutes into the second half. Or earlier, if Ajax score from this highlight as they have a throw-in, Taylor with the ball plays that back to Holding. Now Wrench forward to Kudos. They're a very nice passing side, Ajax, is what I've noticed from today's game. Kalulu with an excellent interception there. Uh, see if he can find a pass to a teammate. He can. He finds Salamakas inside to Benesa. Can we launch an attack? Bad touch from Benesa means that we can't. Tadic is nipped in there and Minan just gets across the goal to save that. Just about an hour played. We are going to make some changes now. And Messias, who did so well against Dutch opposition when we faced PSV earlier this season, is going to come on for Salamakas at attacking right midfield. We are going to make that change at the back as well. Simon Kier is going to come on for Kalulu. Um, I don't think Tamori and Kier have played together that much this season, but I can't honestly remember. Again, don't want to take Giroud off. Leao is on a yellow. He's a bit tired. He's not got a great rating. We're probably going to take him off as well. And we'll bring on Divock Origi, see if he can be a super sub like he has been in European competition throughout his career, mainly for Liverpool. But I'm sure he's got it in him to do the same for, for us. I think we're only allowed three substitutions in this competition. So I think that's all three subs made now. So we'll just have to see if we'll they make a difference as we have a free kick immediately. Ball into the box. And is that a penalty? It is. I don't know what happened. Holden apparently put his hands on De Ketelea too much. And we have a penalty. Olivier Giroud to get us level after an hour played. Can he do it? He sends the keeper the wrong way. And we're back in this one. It's one all. His 30th goal of the season. What a, what a season this man is having. Not only has he just become France's record goal scorer in real life, he's scored 30 goals in a season in fake life. Actually, I think I misread the um, the number of substitutions there. I saw the stoppages, thought that was the number of substitutes. So we've actually got two more substitutions that we can make. And we do have a couple of tired people out there, Hernandez and Tenali. Hernandez I'm more concerned about because obviously he had the fitness test icon next to him. So we'll bring Balatore, who uh, has also been in the World Cup in real life, he came on for Senegal against England yesterday, but didn't really get a chance to do anything. And then Tanali can be our final sub off, and we'll bring on Pabega for him. Hopefully, we don't get any injuries in the last 25 minutes or so. Uh, I think there's a chance here for us. Is there? No. Is there? Yes, there is. The game's trying to trick me. I think we just made those substitutions, actually. It's free kick. Vanessa to take it. What? What a goal! In my head there, I was thinking, I've just taken Tonali off when we've got a free kick in a dangerous position. Tonali normally scores these, but Benesa seems to be able to do the same thing. What a finish from Ishmael Benesa. We're 2-1 up now. We've turned the game on its head. An excellent free kick. Uh, the keeper just had no chance with that one. Not too happy with that, that replay angle, but we're 2-1 up. And there is the full-time whistle. We have managed to come back from a goal down to win the first leg of this semi-final 2-1, setting us up nicely for the second leg in Amsterdam. And we've got to be happy with that. Elsewhere, it's finished 0-0 in the other semi-final. So all to play for still between Roma and Arsenal. So we will play the game against bottom of the table, Slenatana in the league off camera. And then we'll be back with, well, I'll obviously tell you the results of that one. And then we'll play the second leg of the semi-final against Ajax, where we can hopefully seal our place in a first European final in this save. So we've played the game against Linatana. Before this game, Atlanta actually beat Juve 1-0, which sent them to the top of Serie A. But we managed to win just about 1-0 against Linatana. Hernandez, Teo Hernandez, with a penalty very, very early on. We should have probably scored more goals. We didn't, but we still won, which means we're still top of the table. One thing that I forgot to do before the first leg against Ajax was to take a look at how they're doing this season, how they've been doing in their recent matches. So they are top of the Eredivisie. They are nine points clear of final and second, so they're doing pretty well in the league. They last Their last game was against FC Groningen, and they actually lost that by three goals to one. That Where, where are FC Groningen? In the, they're, they're 11th. Okay, maybe maybe they played a rotated side. I don't know. Uh, it looks like they've already sealed the, the league title, actually, Ajax. So, yes, they have. So that's probably how come they lost. They probably played a rotated side. But, of course, 
we know that we just need a draw, really, to get through to the final against either Arsenal or Roma. As we did in the first leg, we'll keep an eye on... Well, we didn't actually do it that much in the first leg, but I'll try and keep an eye more on the Arsenal-Roma game in this match. So we played a bit of a rotated side for the game against Slinatana. So in the side today for this second leg, away from home, we've got Mainan and goal as always. Zanoli is at right back. Gabi and Tamori come back together after Gabi's suspension in the last match of Europa League action. Tio Hernandez is at left back. Ishmael Benesa and Tonali in defensive midfield. Salamak is at right wing. Teketele attacking centre midfield. Leao at left wing. And Olivia Giroud up top. Like I said, all we need is a draw. Okay, first chance of the game, and it's us on the ball. Tio's got it back from Tonali, and now Tamori with it at the back. Forward to Rafa Leao, who comes deep to collect. Now Tonali again. Can he play Leao in? He can't. He's dispossessed by Grilich. And Florian Grilich, who got the, the one and only goal for Ajax in the last game, has played the ball through to Dusan Tadic. It's Tadic through on goal, and he's scored. It's 1-0. We're back level on aggregate. His 21st goal of the season, not the start that we wanted at all here in Amsterdam. 12 minutes played, just about 13 minutes played now, actually, in Tadic has got Ajax back level. Throw in for Ajax deep in our half. Timber's going to take it. He finds Berghaus back to Timber. We need to win the ball here. He misses the tackle and Grilich is going to get it. Is he? No, he's not. Theo's got it, but he's been dispossessed in the box. It's Grilich. Grilich in the box. Shoots off the post. Clear it. Oh my God, what is going on here? We look defensively suspect at the minute. Ajax are piling the pressure on. Can we get a goal from this free kick? Tonali with a ball into the box towards Salamak as it's headed away by Holding and Tadic heads it further. Gabia tried to collect it but failed. Now a Campos has got it for Ajax and they are still on some sort of a counter-attack here. Timber running forward down the right-hand side. Great tackle there by Tonali. A bad touch from Timber but Tonali in there to steal possession away from Ajax who looked dangerous on the counter. It's to Ketelea now. Can we launch an attack of our own? We can't because he's dispossessed and gives the ball away to Bassi. Now Lucas Acampos on the ball once more. Plays it back to Wrench. Out left to Bassi. That's a big touch from him. A messy one, in fact. Salamak is now on the ball on the right-hand side. He's got a yellow card, so we'll keep an eye on him. As to, oh, We've got quite a few yellow cards, actually, it turns out. We've got three already. That, that's not great. Benesa forward to Giroud. Inside, now Leao on the left-hand side. Tio was the man over. That ball, I don't know where it's gone, but somehow it's found its way to Giroud. And Olivia Giroud has scored. Massive deflection from the defender, but we'll take it. 31st goal of the season for the Frenchman up top. And we are back in front on aggregate. Get a reverse angle of it now. And we see this very strange pass from Leao. And the defender just seemed to stop there in the centre for Ajax. I don't know what he was doing, but Giroud with the finish. And it's 1-1 it's on the day. So we made it to half time. Ajax have had the better of the game this time round. Um, there's no arguing that. But quite a few yellow cards, which is concerning. We obviously don't want to go down to 10 men when it's such a, a tightly fought contest. We've got Gabia, Hernandez, Tonali, and Salamak as all on yellows. Obviously, very concerned about Gabia. Uh, he's on a yellow and on a 6.5, as is Salamak, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm contemplating taking Gabia off, you know. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take Gabia off, bring on Kalulu at centre back to be alongside Tamori. Salamak has offers a lot going forward, but he doesn't seem to be doing too well today. We we'll, do we leave him on? Do we leave him on? We'll bring on Mas Junior Messias as well at the same time. So two subs at half time. We've still got two players on yellows, um, but the two worst performing players have have been dropped out of the side for the second half. Hopefully we can hold on to this this one one draw elsewhere. Incidentally, it's still nil nil between Arsenal and Roma, so this is obviously the more entertaining of the two semi finals. As Benesa whips a ball into the back post towards Messias, actually, who's going to collect this on the edge of the box. And there's Benesa in tons of space on the right hand side, no one's come out to meet him. Benesa on the edge of the box now, makes his way into the box, takes a shot, it's gone through the keeper's hands, and it's in. It's 2 1. We've got a two goal cushion now. Benesa with his third goal of the season, it's two. Heavily deflected goals to get us back in this game and to turn the game on its head once more. Just as in the first leg, Ajax went a goal up and threw it away. Have they done the same here? Benesa, you see here, tons of space to run into. And Pazvia needs to be doing a lot better with that terrible goalkeeping. There's been a goal in the other game. Arsenal have taken the lead. Gabriel in the 46th minute. So Roma need a goal to get back into it and to have a possibility of an Italian final in the Europa League. As Benesa plays a ball into the box, and that's collected this time by Pazvia. No repeats of his mistake for the Benesa goal. 
Does, does Pazvia not understand that Ajax are losing this one? He seems to be holding on to the ball for a very long time here. Oh, he's finally let it go out of his hands. The long ball upfield. Tamori wins that and we are back in possession. Tonali now at wide left to Teo Hernandez, who's going to no doubt sprint down this wing towards the byline. In fact, he plays it to Leao instead. Now Leao with a chance to get a ball in or take it himself. Plays it across to De Ketelea, and that is a terrible effort from De Ketelea. Just tapped into the hands of the waiting Pazvia in goal. Free kick for Ajax. Tadic to take it into the box. Grilich is there. It's headed away, not completely by Leao. It's headed to Holding, in fact. I'm pretty sure that ball crossed the line there, but apparently Minan parried it out. Not so sure about that one. Gagliardini on it, but he's dispossessed by De Ketelea and the highlight ends there. We've still got three subs left to make. We've got a few tired-looking players out there. Uh, Teo Hernandez at left back. We're going to we're gonna take him off. We'll bring on Foda Balatore. Obviously, we've got a two-goal cushion here. Um, I'm not going to say anything that could jinx things, although that did come into my head to say... We're going to take Tonali off because he's on a yellow card and looking tired. We'll bring on Pabega for him. We have one more sub left to make. I'd quite like to take Ketelaer off, but we don't have anyone else that can... Oh, I guess we can move Leao to attack and centre midfield. We'll do that. We'll bring on... We'll do the, the mandatory Origi substitution in Europe. Devok Origi coming on as the, the fifth and final substitute. So just over five minutes to go. Ajax in possession of the ball. They do need two goals to take this to extra time. It's holding on the ball at the back for Ajax. Plays it forward down the right-hand side to Sanchez. Through ball, looking for Tadic, but Pabega with a nice interception there, and Minen should be coming out to collect this. No silly mistakes here. Pretty sure that was a back pass, but maybe not. Maybe the referee just saw that Pabega touches an interception. Bit of a weird one. It's Tomori playing out from the back now. Balatori with a bit of space to run into down this left-hand side. Plays it forward now to Olivia Giroud. And that pass was a bit wayward, but it somehow found its way to Origi, who plays it back to Pabega. Now Benesa, can we get a third goal in this game and completely kill off the tyres? Junior Messias on the right-hand side pulls it back to Benesa, who's got one already. Plays that back to Tamori, just taking our time, looking after the ball here, not doing anything stupid. Pabega, with plenty of time to take a shot, hits it from long range, and that's parried away by Pazvia and out for a corner kick. The nerves are kicking in now. We can't afford to throw away this. Benesa with a ball in towards Kalulu and that's headed away by Gagliardini. The ball is in the right area of the pitch though for us with this late stage of the game as the ball goes towards the back post to Leao. Leao with a header and that is easily collected by Pazvia as we have about four minutes plus stoppage time remaining. And Arsenal have gone 2-0 up. Jesus has scored a penalty so it looks like it's going to be the winner of this game against Arsenal and the winner of this game is us. We've made it to a European final. We've beaten Ajax 4-2. Two games where we came back from a goal down to win 2-1. And, I mean, we could have done it an easier way, but we've still done it. So the Europa League final for 2023 is going to be between ourselves and Arsenal. It's going to be in Hungary. It's at the, the Puskas Arena. And it's not actually after the, the league season's finished. It's before the final game of the season. Hopefully we'll have... Actually, look, thinking about how tight the, the league title is at the minute. There's only one point in it. We might still be chasing the league title. That's a bit concerning. So we've got Empoli and Roma in the league before we play the Europa League final on Wednesday the 31st. And then the following Sunday is the final league game of the season. Hopefully Atlanta drop points in their next two games. So that because we're not going to be able to play a rotated side against Roma, I don't think. And then Bologna, we might we might get away with it. But if we're we're pushing for a league title win... Do we want to do that? That's going to be a, a a decision to make. How are Arsenal doing in the league? Third. Okay. They let's have a look at their their recent fixtures, recent re recent results. Lots of draws in there. Uh, quite a few draws actually. Two wins in their last. What's that? Eight games. Okay. That's. I I don't want to say anything to jinx it. So I just thought I'd take a look at Atlanta's fix fixtures, and they're arguably easier than ours. Uh, they do have Napoli to play, which is harder than any of our three games. Um, so that could be an opportunity for them to drop points. However, they're playing Verona, who are uh, mid-table average, and Spezia, who are struggling against relegation in their other two games. Whereas, of course, we've got Empoli. Who are where Empoli? Well, they're 15th as well, I guess. Roma in 9th. And then Bologna in 12th. So hopefully we can pick up points there and Atlanta drop points. But looking ahead to the next episode, we will, of course, be back with the Europa League final. If we are still not crowned league champions, we might make it a double. 
and play the Bologna game in the next episode as well. But that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ask no more content when it comes out, hit the notification bell to stay notified, and I'll see you next time.